Are you looking for a new platform to get started dropshipping on in 2020? Nowadays, a lot of people are complaining about oversaturation on specific marketplaces like eBay or Amazon. Although I don't really believe in saturation, I do see some of their complaints. What if I told you that there is a new platform out there and that platform is Facebook Marketplace. In the past couple of weeks, I've been toying around with dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, and I made my first sale within the first day or two. One thing about Facebook is that it's completely untapped. There's not very many people doing it, and also the fact that there is an extreme amount of traffic on that website. I'm getting way more than 10 times the amount of views and impressions that I would on my listings on eBay. Facebook is pushing this platform extremely hard and I do believe in the future it's going to be something that's very promising and very profitable for everybody. So if you get in now, then you're gonna reap the rewards of actually learning the system now and benefiting from it later. So also be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in getting started with Facebook dropshipping, Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, then be sure to stay all the way to the end because I explained pretty much everything I did, what I sold, and the results. So without further ado, I'll see you inside of my computer where I explain it all. Thank you very much. So welcome inside of my computer and here is my first ever sale on Facebook Marketplace. So first off, I'm banned on like all of my Facebook advertising, whatever's on my own account. So I actually did have to do this on my business partner, Jason's account, which is perfectly fine. I connected my own bank account to it and that's about it. So why Facebook Marketplace dropshipping? Well, first off, Facebook has introduced the shipping option on Marketplace. Not everybody has it. I don't know what will make you get it and what won't make you get it. But what I believe to be true is that the more that you've sold on Facebook Marketplace with meeting people in person, other things like that, or the more that you've potentially listed on Facebook Marketplace, the higher of a chance that you will have the shipping options. And I will show how to create a listing and how I went about it at the end of this video. So the first sale right here is, was for $105. It's my infamous turkey fryer that I've sold on Amazon probably well over multiple thousand times. And you know, I just know it's a hot item. I've sold it on eBay hundreds of times, Amazon. So why not Facebook Marketplace? One thing I have realized with Facebook Marketplace is it's definitely catered more towards the home goods and you know, kind of cheaper, low end type things that people wanna get for you know, a cheap price. Facebook Marketplace is kind of like Craigslist where people are going on there to find used things and not as much, you know, maybe buy like a brand new TV, but you know, maybe buy a brand new cheap like Walmart dresser or something like that. So I could see how Walmart onto Facebook Marketplace dropshipping might become like a very popular thing once this eventually starts up. So pretty much all you need to do is pick in a category that has shipping on it and I will show you that. And when you're listing it, you can pretty much pick any category. I put this in like the sports and outdoors category and it allowed the shipping in that category and then it eventually pushed it to like a new category. You connect your bank account and at this point in time, like I said earlier in the video, Facebook is not taking any fees. So that $105 is all mine. It all gets sent to my bank account and you need to wait a couple days. There is a longer pending period than I would have expected. So if you're expecting to get your money immediately, like something with if you're dropshipping eBay using PayPal and you're out of PayPal jail, getting your money immediately, that's not going to happen. Another thing that is pretty interesting is you need to upload your tracking number within three days. So that's something like, I, I don't know what happens if you don't, but I'll figure that out. That's something that they seem pretty strict about. So you wanna make sure to be able to do that. You can pick your own tracking number and uploading it and shipping with your own label, or you can use a label through Facebook, which makes no sense. So that's pretty much where I'm at. So this is it. I sold it for 105 bucks. I bought it for $90 at my supplier. I made a $15 profit, which was around like, I think a 13% profit margin. If we do 15 divided by 105, yeah, it's 14.2%. So, you know, it's it's not a bad profit margin, but I've heard of people making way, way more, like 40%, 50% margins because this is such an untapped market. So let's go a little bit into, you know, what I'm selling um, and just pretty much the impressions on your listing. So I don't, if anybody that's following me, this is what the pending balance looks like. So this is the, the pending, you know, rolling balance. The payments will be initiated five days after we receive delivery confirmation of the item. So once the item is delivered, you'll get your money within five days. So you need to have some form of cash reserve or something like that. So let's look at this right here. So pretty much, you know, these are my active listings. I listed these two turkey fryers right here two days ago. Both of them were two days ago. This one was listed like um, a week and a half ago. This one has never sold this, this popcorn machine. But one thing to realize is that literally two days ago, I listed this item and this one has 905 listing views and this has 409 listing views. One thing they do say is that they, they don't count unique views. So if somebody looks at this item five times, then that's five listing views. So it's not unique individual 905 people. It could be a lot less. I'm not sure, you know, they don't really tell you that. 
And that's pretty much it for the amount of like analytics that they give you. I'm sure there's a little bit more, but I haven't fully looked into it that much. But pretty much that's all you need to do. If we look at, um, you know, click here and click view listing, this is pretty much what my listing looks like. It's a, here's the title. I, I, like I said, I put it in sporting goods and then I changed it to home goods, steamers and cookers, pretty much in a, a pretty good category for it. You know, it says Boston Mass, but it doesn't matter. Here's the title, the, the description, and then I tag, I put one tag in. Coming from Jason, uh, thank you very much for letting me use your account. And then it says ships for free from Boston. So you can choose the pickup option, the ship for free option, or both. Obviously, if you want to be drop shipping, you want to be doing the ship for free and just not pick up. But I've heard of people buying things, you know, from Walmart and then just meeting people in person and selling them for more kind of like in person drop shipping. Um, <clears throat> that's definitely interesting, but I don't really have the time that I want to be spending on on doing such a thing. So at that point in time, you know, I'd, I'd rather stray away from that. But that's pretty much it. In two days, 905 listing views. If you've sold on eBay in the past, you know that if you have an item up that's pretty decent within two days, if you get 100 views, you're doing very, very well. You know, this uh, 905 in two days, and then you can boost your listings and other things like that. You know, it, it's absolutely wild. And I'm assuming this one will sell again soon and this one might sell, but it's really just a volume game. I only have three listings up. The only issue here is that right now I don't have the stock option. So every single time it sells, I need to relist it. It's pretty much a pain and I haven't really come up with a, a unique system for it yet, but I am talking with somebody that actually is very good at Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, has seen a lot of success. So he's helping me out on this journey. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you how to list an item, how I would go about listing an item. And if you wanna do so, then you can go about doing it yourself. All right, so here we are, and I'm gonna list an item for you all. So pretty much you go into your Facebook Marketplace, you click Create a New Listing. At this point in time, you want to click Item for Sale. So you do that. And right now I am in the new version of Facebook. So if you don't have the new version of Facebook, there's like a little drop down thing right here that'll pretty much say switch to classic or switch to new version of Facebook. Facebook is making this new version pretty much the mandatory version, I believe in the beginning of September or mid September. So you might as well uh, start now. So pretty much this is what it looks like. Like I said, there is no option for stock here. One of my accounts does have the option for stock, but that account doesn't have the option for shipping makes no sense i don't understand it yet like i said it's just the beginning of this so here i am i got my mainstays walmart you know dresser whatever this is i clicked on the image i right clicked i clicked open image in a new tab and here i am at that point i took out my trusty screenshot tool and i screenshotted it just to you know get it easier and now i have a photo right here so we'll add this if i wanted to add more you can add up to 10 you know, go click through and get all these other ones. But right now I ain't got time for that. So next step is going to be, you know, the title. I'm not gonna put too much work into this title, but here is pretty much what we want. I would say, I would get rid of mainstays, you know, just classic four drawer dresser, um, black oak finish, um, anything like bedroom. You, you can build your own title, you know, the, the title's up to you. Right now I'm just showing you how to go about doing this bedroom, you know, furniture, something like that. Price, so technically Facebook is not taking on any fees right now. So you're sell you buy it for 110, if you're tax exempt, I'm tax exempt, free delivery. So at that point in time, you know, if you just wanna make $15, you can list it for 125, because um, there's no fees being taken out. I would list it at like 130, we'll call it a day, you'll make 20 bucks on it. And then you do $20 divided by 130, you know, you're making 15% profit margin. I think it's pretty good. You know, I think that this item would be pretty promising on, um, on, on Facebook Marketplace. Also, another thing to realize is that there's really no stock tracking and updating software for this. So you can put this into SKU Grid and, you know, update your, uh, and, you know, get emails from SKU Grid, but that's pretty much the only way that you could do stock. So you wanna make sure that this item is, you know, either doesn't go out of stock very often or is from a supplier that's possibly even a wholesale supplier. But right now, this is pretty much what I'm doing. So now if you see right here, this is the categories. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the home and kitchen category and then we'll go into furniture and then it'll say bedroom furniture. Um, and then if you notice, it does not say shipping on any of those ones. So there was, there was no, there, there's no shipping option on, oh, it's dresser is what it is. There's no shipping option though. So what I've been doing is going back um, and I've literally been listing everything in the sporting goods section and it seems to literally just go and, and change it afterwards. So indoor games and see look shipping available shipping available shipping available let's just say bowling and the foosball equipment 
I'm sure there's a better way to go about doing this. Um, condition is new, brand optional. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put it in there, I don't really care. And then the description, you can <clears throat> go through and just look at the description right here. Um, you know, Copy this, edit this if you want. But pretty much this is what I would be putting in for the description. You can add some, you know, you know, some specifics. If you look at the specifications, you could add this stuff in here if you wanted to. Put in, put in as much work as you'd like. Um, one thing I've realized is that you get a lot of views. So, you know, is the time worth it if you're if you're listing a ton of items, or if is the time worth it if you're putting a lot of time into your items? I, I'm not sure yet. I don't have a definitive answer. And then product tags. I would put some in there. Dresser, bedroom furniture. I'm assuming this is just what shows up when people are looking at it. Um, you know, anything like that for drawer. You know, you have up to 20, you're good to go. So at this point in time, you know, we click next and then it gives you the option. So if you don't, if you haven't already connected your bank account, then this is where you would do it. I, I've been clicking shipping only. And at this point in time, I've been clicking use your own shipping label. Shipping cost zero dollars. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, Facebook Marketplace has been real glitchy. Um, you know, I listed an item the other day and then it, it was giving me issues and then I listed it and then it wasn't giving me issues, now it's giving me issues again. So I had to put one dollar in for shipping just to, to get it to move forward. But then if you click zero, it says that you can offer free shipping and you click total estimated payment and then it says buyer's shipping cost free and then but it literally doesn't let you move forward. There, there's glitches. You, from what I've heard, you can go into your phone and then change it on your phone a lot easier. Um, and then at that point in time, you know, I gave him one dollar shipping, and then we'll just move forward. And then it says let buyers negotiate a price equal to or above the minimum price you set. You can do that. You know, if you if you want, this is your minimum you'll consider, which is one twenty, which means that you'd be making ten dollars, I believe, on it. You know, that's pretty much a ten percent margin. So if they try to offer you something lower than that, it won't even go through. But you know, if it's in that range, then you know, you'll know you allow it. And then you pretty much just click next. And then if you're in any groups, you can listen to the groups, which I haven't done. You just list it strictly the marketplace and then you click publish. So when you click publish, it does actually take some time to go through and get you know vetted out by Facebook. Uh, it has to say, it says this listing is being reviewed. At that point in time, wait a bit. Hopefully it goes through. If it doesn't, then you know, make any specific changes. Check the categories that you're listening in. You know, I just picked an easy one that I knew would have the shipping option available, but I'm sure there was one a lot closer to what this item specifically is that does have the shipping option as well. And that's pretty much Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Is it allowed on Facebook Marketplace? I'm not even sure. I haven't looked into it yet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you're interested in future videos on me actually learning this and getting it down to a science and then possibly making some form of training on it, just leave a comment down below. Like I said, this is brand new. This is something that I you know, was very interested in. I heard people were killing it. I've heard people are doing very, very well with it. I know somebody I was talking to that made four and a half grand profit in his first month getting started. Um, and he's pretty much running out of money because he, it holds your funds for that long. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It says right here, oh, that they even extended it. No more selling fees until December 31st. It was October 31st, so all the way through quarter four. Um, and hopefully they, you know, they take it to the next level. They make it more robust and you know, make it something that's actually a lot easier to, to run and you can connect software to and other things like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're interested, like I said, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if, if you think that Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is terrible, a good idea, you know, the next big thing, not a big thing, who knows? Honestly, I think it's gonna be pretty big. I made my first sale very easily and I, I can't wait to see it you know, upgrade in the future. It's already taken out Craigslist. Craigslist is a thing of the past, let's be honest, and it's, it's moving up the ladder to take out other, or take on and compete with other platforms. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.